Hey guys, how's it going? It is Brains of Games here, and I am back for the next episode of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U Classic Mode. In the last episode, we took it on with... Which who do we take it on? We took it on with uh, Pac-Man. This episode, we should be taking it on with Mega Man, but we're not, because I always do the DLC characters first, because they have, like, higher priority of some sort. I don't know. I don't know wh why I do it, but I do anyways, because I really wanted to play Mewtwo back when he first came out, and then I did it with R Lucas, Roy, and Ryu as well. But I'm doing it now with cloud because he just came out and i wanted to have a little bit of fun with him that sounded wrong um this is actually th i recorded this like four days after the announcement it's been two days since i've recorded this thing this is the 21st and it was recorded on the 19th so if that leads to any bit i don't know i just wanted to be able to get to you know cloud i don't know this isn't sounding very good but um I just wanted to use Cloud eventually, and I didn't really want to record this just yet, because I was really busy working on the reaction videos and stuff like that. Uh, what else was I doing this week? Playing a lot of Xenoblade. Um, yeah, I don't have an excuse for that. Um, but anyways, um, I killed with the yuppie, and I'm happy with that. Although it was a limit break. This is Cloud. Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. I've never played Final Fantasy, any Final Fantasy game. The only experience I have with Final Fantasy are the Mario games that they're, that a couple of the characters are playable in, like the Black Mage, the White Mage, um, the Cactus Dude, uh, Moogle Slime. That slime is Dragon Quest, right? Uh, maybe I don't have much experience at all. Um, but if I would have any experience, it would be through there. Um... If they release uh, Final Fantasy VII on the NX, or if they just port it to the Virtual Console or something, sure, I'll play it. No doubt, I'll play that. Um, I know they're I know they're releasing uh, Final Fantasy VI Advance, which is like the Game Boy Advance version of VI. And uh, well, they're releasing it in Japan. If they release it here, I'd consider checking it out. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of um, other parties games like pretty much is just nintendo that's that's what i've resorted to with pretty much my time and that's what i that's what i play like as you can see my channel is mostly nintendo with a hint of minecraft near the beginning but i've stopped that because minecraft has just gotten too boring for me maybe in the future if they if um if they release Nintendo exclusive content for Minecraft on the Wii U, I'd consider doing a Let's Play or something of it. But nothing anytime soon, unless they decide to release DLC like tomorrow. But I. But uh, speaking of that, I guess I could go into this. Um, I am enraged with the Minecraft Wii U version. Number one is the size of the old consoles version, which I'm sure. I mean, if it's not powerful enough, then I can understand one that one thing. But that's not the main reason why I'm pissed. The main reason is that they're charging ten dollars more just so we can get their crappy DLC for like Skyrim play uh, skins and stuff. Like, why would I want Skyrim skins? And why would I want to pay ten dollars more for the base game just so I could have them? That's what infuriates me, because, I mean, that would have been a day one purchase for me if they, if it didn't include all the DLC from the other versions. I definitely would have bought it day one, but because it, they were dumb and they put DLC in it, like, it's just Microsoft being Microsoft from there. It's just what I'm gonna call it, because, I mean, ever since, uh... My Minecraft or Mojang was bought by Microsoft, that's been where I've said screw it. And I didn't know who I was for a second, I thought I was Ike or something, so I just like killed myself right there on accident. Um, so that's a thing. Um, oh yeah, the smash ball. See, I was really wanting to hit it, but I was facing the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I would have hit Toon Link if I hit it, if I was facing the right way. Um, anyways. Uh, speaking of Ike, I guess I could talk about uh, Fire Emblem a little, because, Because, uh, I don't think, yeah, there's no more Fire Emblem characters. I guess I could talk about the Direct a little as well. Because this would be the first since the Direct, technically, that I've recorded with the character. Because I recorded Pac-Man before the Direct, but I did the voiceover afterwards. But, uh, Corrin from Fire Emblem Fates, who I'm super duper duper hyped for. Like, I'm more hyped for Corrin than, um, Bayonetta, to be honest. 
because I am super into Fire Emblem right now because I haven't played much of the series at all. So whenever I find a new series that I want to like play a bit of, then I'll go crazy for it. And that's what I've been doing right now. Like I've been doing live streams for Fire Emblem 7 and I'm playing Sacred Stones on my own time. Um, and I just beat Awakening and Fates looks super good. And I'd, I'd like notice the little wheels on the bottom of the cart right there. And that made me super happy. Because like I remember the tool assist brawl videos that they used to have a long time ago back in the day. And uh, with the, the crates and it was super cool. It's like the crates are the most hype thing about brawl. Um, <laughs> but anyways. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm super hyped for Fates and the special editions like super sought after and rare and everything. And like after uh, looking for one online all night a couple days ago, I uh, just went into my GameStop and I asked if they had any. And turns out they actually just ordered pre-orders like a couple days or a couple minutes uh, before I went and asked. It was like near opening, so I guess it would make sense for it to be like near opening that they. Uh, put things on, not online, but in their systems. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, I actually managed to get the special edition pre-ordered, and I'm super hyped for that. I can't wait. And I really wanted to get the final smash there too, but Robin just kind of died before I could. Um, um, no fates. Like, I'm excited for that. There's three versions, and it comes to, like, a pouch or something. I don't really care. I just wanted the three versions. Because if you didn't buy the special edition, it would be you'd be paying eighty dollars for both the games, and you'd have to pay for the twenty dollar DLC after the game comes out, which was uh, the third version of the game. But with the special edition, you actually get all three versions. You get the you get like an art book and the uh, a limited edition pouch or something like that. But um, I definitely like it. Like so I like it a lot right now. Or, just I like it a lot. I don't have it yet because nobody does. And it comes out February nineteenth. Oh my god, I can't wait for it. Cause like that's like one of the first hype games of the year. I'm trying to think of what else is coming out early next year. I think Pokemon is the twenty seventh of February. The Fire Emblem is the nineteenth. Um Star Fox is in April. There's something in March. Oh, uh, Twilight Princess HD. Um, that's like March 6th. Uh, I'm gonna be living on the virtual console through January. Well, actually, it's like the beginning of school starting. I should probably be focusing on that a lot. I, uh, I'm taking a couple computer, like, uh, engineering, not engineering, but, um, coding classes. I don't know what to call it. I guess it'd be, like, language learning, in a way. I don't know. Um... I don't know, no, I'm taking Python first. That one's going to be interesting. Because I know that's what I want to do when I eventually uh, grow up. I want to be making games for Nintendo or something along those lines. Just I, I want to be somewhere doing something that I like. And definitely Nintendo games are somewhere that I like to go to all the time, I guess. Um, but yeah, right now my plan is to graduate and try to get some kind of internship at like Disney World, because I'm in Florida, actually, in some, in, like, Disney World or, um, Universal Studios somewhere, because, like, they do a lot of, um, programming or visual art or something like that. Like, I know it seems very vague what I want to do, but I have a name, I have a, I have a, a plan, I guess you could say. Uh, it's not very clear to convey in words, though, so, I don't know how well that would work out, me trying to to say it through words. Um, but I killed myself right there. Nice. Um, there's Billy Mays on the screen. Iwata's on the screen. I think that's my brother. Um, yeah. And there was that mine right there. I didn't want to fall on it, though, because uh, it's a mine. I'd blow up. Huh. But, yeah. I don't have that much experience in uh, Square Enix games at all. Um, not a big fan of, like I said, anything other than Nintendo games. I'd definitely be willing to play uh, more Square games if they were available for Nintendo consoles. 
Um, I'm not so sure if I would feel the same way about, uh, say, Kingdom Hearts, but I don't know. The main series games are coming out on PlayStation, and I, I don't want to get in too into a series that I'd have to go buying another console as well, which I feel like I would definitely end up doing that one way or another. So that's one thing I want to avoid, um, is the whole buying into a series and buying into Sony, buying Square, not buying Square necessarily, but uh, Square being uh, definitively releasing games for PlayStation. Although I understand where they're coming from releasing, I mean, it's just, no, hiccup, the more profitable console, because I know they're releasing games for the 3DS as well. And that's like the main do dominator in the mobile market. Um, but I know it's not like their main series games or what have you. Um, but it's definitely something I'd be willing to check out if they decided to release some more for the uh, Nintendo consoles. I don't know. Be interesting. Ugh. I don't know what to talk about now. Hmm, what could we talk about? Um, we could talk about the Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer. That was pretty cool looking. Like, From an outsider perspective, the battling system looks kind of confusing, but it looks cool and interesting to learn. Like, not a standard RPG. I don't know. People say it's real-time, but what defines real-time combat? I, de I think of real-time combat as, like, the Pokemon anime. Like, that's real-time in my opinion. Like think of things on the fly and try them out and you do something with it. Like, I don't know. Is that a way to think about it? Because, again, I really don't... I'm not too knowledgeable in the, in the topic, I guess. But, um... Ah, uh, I, I was hoping I didn't die right there. I was really hoping I didn't, but... I, I don't know. I guess I just forgot where I died, and I was like, oh, no. Um... Uh... The Cloud Amiibo does look pretty cool, though, with his, with the giant sword. Pretty excited for that. Like, I'm glad that uh, Cloud's in Smash, though. It's like, it shows, like, Square's willing to work with Nintendo. And, I mean, they have been releasing games for the 3DS. So I guess that's one sign that they're willing. Um, but I don't know. They were also... I remember a, long, a little bit ago, they were talking about how they were going to release games for the NX. And if they they know their their consoles like they know what will be prop what probably will be popular and whatnot, so it's kind of surprising to me to see them already talking about how they're gonna put everything on the NX when it's not even announced yet what the gimmick is because you know there's gonna be a gimmick. Y y everyone knows there'll be a gimmick. Nintendo has to have a gimmick on their consoles like otherwise it's not a Nintendo console. That's like the gamepad, the motion controls. I don't know. It's just, there's gotta be something that we don't know. And this probably is. It's just, we just don't know yet. Um, I'm really excited for E3 to, to, fee to find out what that thing is, because, uh, well, I mean, they did say 20, 2016, so I'm gonna say that if they reveal the NX before E3, it's probably coming out this year. Um, if they reveal it post E3, then, or pre-E3, I'm gonna say that it's coming out this year. This was annoying, because look, I couldn't do anything. And it was annoying. It was annoying. That's all I gotta say. And then that happens. And then that happens. I was pretty pissed at the time. I was pretty pissed. Like, I couldn't do anything. I had to recover to save myself from the lava, and I recovered into the lava. I don't know, there's probably somewhere I could, a sweet spot I could probably have landed. To capitalize better on the location of the landing. <sighs> Sorry, it's been a long day of doing like nothing. I played so much Xenoblade today. Um, I'm up to. I just finished chapter eight. So, for those of you who have played it, that tells you where I am. Um, but yeah, I. I don't want to play too much every day because like I don't know how many chapters there are and I don't want to rush through the rest of the game although I've been playing it so much recently I don't know I like uh, X much better than Chronicles uh, the 3d version 
So I don't know. It's just like something about the graphics, although that is on a 3DS. I know it's not like good to focus on the graphics of a game, but it just looks so good for what it is on the Wii U. Like I know it's not perfect, and sure it looks crap when you get up close to something, but that's when you get up close to something. It just it makes me want to explore, and I just don't feel that open worldness that X is giving me with the Chronicles 3D because it has to stop every couple of minutes for a story or for some kind of uh, boss battle or something and I'm actually really I'm actually stuck on a boss battle right now in Chronicles 3D um, I have no clue where I am in comparison to uh, the rest of the game though so I don't think there'd be a way for me to really say it because I also don't want to spoil too much for anyone I um, think I'm, if I could say, probably the best thing I could say is that I'm level like 25 or something, if I'm like stuck on a boss battle. Um, and also one thing I don't like about uh, Chronicles 3D is that you have so many party members and you don't know when to use them because I feel like I need to be managing everyone at the same time but I always focus on only three people. And you have like five or six at a time, which is annoying. I don't know. I mostly stick with the original three people, if that makes any sense to, to people who are watching. But, um... Yeah. I just don't want to spoil it for anyone. So lucky you. And I remember I couldn't... I, I killed him there because... Gimp. And I like how on 8.0 I lose because... I am uh, killed by lava. Hmm. God, I didn't just stop yawning. Um. But yeah, I'm killed by lava. Um. And two lives are gone. And this one I just kill. I win the entire thing with two lives. Only at 64%. I don't know. That just annoyed me a bit. Um. But yeah, got it there finally. <laughs> it, it, was, it took way too long. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to Clouds Amiibo as well as Corin and uh, Lucas. I don't have Lucas's on pre-order yet, but I do have Shovel Knights on pre-order. Uh, I'm super excited for Shovel Knights. I do have Shovel Knight, and I've played through the main game, but I haven't played much of uh, Plague Knights DLC. So hopefully in the future, I get more time you know i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm gonna play shovel knight tomorrow because i mean basically this entire week is like nothing because like i'm on christmas break and i really don't have that much to do but i also wanted to finish up a lot of my um i'm actually already starting reading my school books for next semester to go ahead and get ahead and um i do want to finish up a lot of games on my backlog and i've already done a bunch um there's a lot of games that i've recently played or bought that i've wanted to play which has been going well it's been going very well um but yeah i want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed <sighs> yeah you guys caught that too right there right because that happened to me while i was playing the game and, I don't know. Okay, well, it ended a lot sooner than I expected it to. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I upload every day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.